The Rams aren't a good team, but they're better than the Niners. Shanahan just doesn't have the pieces to score, and the Rams win this boring game. The Jaguars have played well defensively so far. The Ravens have the best defense in the league. If you had to choose between Joe Flacco and Blake Bortles, Flacco is the clear answer. Neither the Browns nor the Colts have anything to brag about. Jacoby Brissett has played well in his start last week, and it continues this week against the Browns at home. The Eagles and the Giants both have amazing defenses that can get to the quarterback. The Giants just have one of the worst offensive lines in the league, while the Eagles have one of the best. Once pulls through, and the Giants still can't score. The Jets are the least talented team in the NFL. The Dolphins have plenty of talent, and Jay Cutler pulls through for the win. The Broncos are a top team and shut down the dangerous Ezekiel Elliott last week. That trend continues as they take down the Bills and LaShawn McCoy. There's only so much Drew Brees can do. The Saints are playing the same defense as they did last year. The Panthers are undefeated, dangerous, and at home. This game is high scoring with the Panthers winning in the end. If I had to choose an upset, this might be the game. I don't like the Steelers away from home, but the Bears just aren't talented. They lack weapons and Big Ben does enough to pull out the W. The Battle of the Undefeated. The Lions have Matthew Stafford, so they stand a chance to win at home. In the end, the Falcons are just too high powered on offense. The Vikings have the defense to shut offenses down. The Bucks have the firepower to win games by shootout. The only reason I have the Vikings winning is because they're at home. The Texans defense is stout, but has a starting rookie quarterback in Deshaun Watson. That spells trouble against the Patriots. Tom Brady's receiving court is really banged up, but this game is not going to be a problem. The Seahawks need to do something about that offensive line. The Titans have a dominant offensive line and are at home. I'm calling this one in a low scoring upset by the Titans since the Seahawks always seem to start out slow. Andy Dalton looks awful at quarterback. Green Bay has a bad defense. The difference is Aaron Rodgers is the quarterback. Rodgers would work his magic and put up way too many points for the Bengals to keep up. The Chargers always keeps games close just to lose. The Chiefs are coming off back-to-back -back impressive wins. The Chiefs do travel to LA, but I just can't trust the Chargers to win a close game. The Cowboys will bounce back after getting embarrassed by the Broncos. The Cardinals are getting old, but they don't want to admit it yet. The Cowboys offensive line takes care of business and wins the time of possession battle.